so today I'm going to be talking about parenting styles and expectations and how culture influences them. So can I see a show of hands of whose parents or guardians have ever told them that they need to do their homework or they need to clean their room or they need to go do something? <laughs> Me too. Okay? <laughs> so this is my family. And these are my mom and dad, and they're the ones who always put stress on me, whether it be to do my homework or performing well in the pool. And even though I live 20 minutes away, I still get the phone calls that they miss me and always checking out, making sure that I'm doing my homework and staying on top of everything. So being a daughter, I've had experience with parenting styles and expectations from my family. And uh, today I'm going to be talking about um, the types, different types of parenting styles, how culture influenced those, and the difference between uh, parenting styles then and now. So there are four primary types of parenting styles. I'm going to split them up into two and compare them. So the first two that I'll be talking about is authoritarian and authoritative. Uh, so authoritarian is strict and demanding with high expectations, and little to no freedom, and they really rely on punishment. So, not really incentives to do things, but if you don't do it, you're gonna have a consequence. Whereas authoritative, they still have expectations, but they're more understanding and supportive with uh, open communication and freedom with boundaries. So, for example, uh, yes, you can go hang out with your friends today, but you need to be back by 10 o'clock. The next kind of parenting style so I will be comparing is neglectful and permissive. So <coughs> neglectful has a very distance relationship, uh, little to no communication, they show not really any affection, uninvolved, no trust, no supervision, just very distant with their child. Whereas permissive parents, they're very responsive, but they're not demanding. Uh, so they're very lenient, um, they try to avoid confrontation, but they're very loving and caring. So almost too overboard to where there's not enough uh, guidelines and rules. So next I'll be talking about how culture influences their parenting styles. So for example, cultural norms. So cultural norms can shape how parents connect and interact with their child. For example, uh, the French, they encourage independence. So they send their kids to summer camps at early as age of six to encourage independence, getting away, doing things on their own. Whereas here, our kind of parents are attached to their child, so we tend to have children sleep in beds with them, and they try to go to mommy and me classes, trying to do things together and being interactive, whereas friends try to say, okay, go off on your own. We'll see you in a little bit. Um, <laughs> so, uh, other influences by culture is, so self-expression and social time uh, is influenced by cultural beliefs. So uh, it shapes what parents want to stress and teach to their children. So for example, here in the US, we like to stress uh, like positive self-esteem and independence. So uh, they want their children to have confidence and be successful and be social. Whereas, uh, for example, the Chinese, they like to teach obedience. So they want, them to respect elders and um, have a lot of self-discipline. Um, so there's that. And then, um, so with culture changing, parenting styles also change. So back then, education wasn't necessarily stressed due to the fact that the job marketing and things were not as competitive as now. So. They were more relaxed, but strict in different ways. So they're more interactive with their children because there wasn't as much technology, so they like to get out and interact with their children on the outdoors and stuff. But they were less, less accepting to gender identity. So for the kids who struggled with gender identity and had different ideas, their parents weren't as accepting as they are now. Um, so now we stress education more because uh, the job market, it's, it's very competitive, and in order to be successful, we believe that you must have a high education and try to go to a four-year college. Um, now, dads are more actively engaged with their children, possibly because of the gender roles. So back then, it was mom stay at home, dads work, but now that things are changing, um, both the mom and dad can work, changing up the gender roles today. Um, Another thing is, is that uh, 
now children are safer. So uh, the company Safe Kids was um, started in 1987, which is like they have the little products of sticking in the plastic strips into the outlets so kids don't put things in it, or they have the, the drawer clips so kids can't pull it open and fall over. Um, so that has changed. Uh, the accidental death rate for children has dropped 45% from that. So kids are safer now, babies are safer now than they were back then. So uh, in conclusion, uh, today I've talked to you about the different kinds of parenting styles, how culture has influenced parenting styles, and the difference between parenting styles now and then. So I hope you can now see where your parents fit and what kind of parenting style they have, and you can see or try to predict what kind of parent you will be in the future. Thank you. Thank you.